Hello guys, how is it going? It is Fake Eric, I'm actually once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. I'm not going to go into detail about why I haven't been uploading recently for anybody who's interested. Just know that I'm here and I have a deck to share with you guys today. It's going to be a uh, Pantheon deck, including uh, Riven alongside him. Riven with all the blade fragments is probably one of the more fast ways to level up uh, Pantheon without kind of sacrificing too many resources, making this kind of a good tempo Pantheon deck. You play a bit more aggressively, uh, use your blades, use your blade of exile to kind of put a lot of damage on your units, push chip damage when possible, hit your opponent's face, a few decimates to finish the game over the top. This is pretty much just kind of like an aggro deck. You play a bit faster, focus less on the control, more on the getting chip damage, more on the smacking your opponent's face. We can play some Ruin Reckoners too to do some cool stuff with the Midnight Raid, using it on Pantheon or even Riven herself. Riven's good because she acts as like another carry. In case you don't draw into your Pantheon, you can simply use your Blade of Exiles on Riven herself and push a lot of damage. Uh, Blinded Mystic, nice inclusion, nice new tech. Uh, Grant an ally plus one, uh, plus one, plus one. Silence, a follower. It's got a good mixture of both things. You wouldn't just play this if it was just silencing. You wouldn't just play it if it was granting. Because it has both, makes it a very good inclusion here. You can play this over cards like Hush, although we do include one copy of Hush. Bunch of combat tweaks. Uh, Wounded White Flame, another fantastic card. Very strong. And yeah, it's pretty much the deck. It acts very much similar to like how other Riven decks have played in the past, but I think Pantheon's a nice inclusion for this kind of archetype. And yeah, typically these decks don't usually play Decimate, but because it's like another way of, a good way of finding reach, uh, that could be just what you need to close out games, especially on ladder where it's a lot more surprise factor, making this deck a very good, uh, just ladder deck if you want to have a bit of fun. Pretty competitive, you will find wins, you will be able to climb with it. Um, is it the best Pantheon deck? No, I'd recommend playing Tarek Pantheon if you want to play the most competitive uh, Pantheon deck right now. Might do a video on that soon. Enjoy the gameplay here today. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing some more Runeterra videos just like this. Any form of Poppy is going to be competitive, so we'll see how this deck performs. Um, as I said, though, you know, this deck's kind of off meta, and it's a unique concept, but I think Pantheon still will need a bit more support to make him shine, and we'll probably see more Fated cards slash targeting cards within the future. Anyway, Riven's always going to be a keep. We'll keep Solari Soldier as well for some early game tempo plays. Especially attacking on um, odds, we can contest the Teemo quite well. They don't want to block with Teemo, so it always gets them three damage on average. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Same with Fleet for the Tracker. Like, they don't really want to block here. And like, having the three decimates in a deck makes this three damage from Solari Soldier quite significant, so. That's that. So we could play Pale Cascade here to try and level up Pantheon, but like, I think if you get Pantheon leveled by around turn eight, nine, that's usually roughly when you want to be ending the game. Opponent's playing Stony Suppressor. That's unironically a little bit of a problem, but I don't think mana is the real issue here. I don't, I don't think mana is the real issue. We will grant uh, Riven uh, Overwhelm, and we will attack with Riven. Again, just trying to find some chip damage. He doesn't want to block with anything on the field. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to block here. He could sharp sight the Stony Suppressor and block. That just seems um, a little bit unorthodox. But um, yeah, I guess he's saving Nexus damage. Maybe we're respecting the, de the decimates that we have hiding. Mm, yeah, we can play Saga Seeker here. I will die when I am ready. We're probably losing yes, Riven, Mama but beast, honestly, not too much of an issue. Swiftly. Um. So we could reforge here. We could also replay, uh, we can also replay Riven. Pale Cascade here seems kind of weird, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to replay Riven. I failed. Heart and Blade, both. Delay and Pantheon another turn, and that's kind of like the inherent problem with Pantheon. Is that he can just be very clunky at times. Oh. 
So we're definitely going to swing all here. And having transfusion is kind of nice as well. We're definitely going to grant something plus two. Just trying to think of what we want to do here. Probably just Riven. Or maybe Saga Seeker makes more sense. Yeah, it's probably no, just Saga Seeker. To death I go. And I, I do think we want to swing all here. I do think we want to swing all here. Punish transgressions. Even if he does block with the Hungry Alcat, it's like fine. If he takes 10, that's a win for us. So there's an opportunity here to push a little bit more damage with Transfusion or Pale Cascade. And I think we do want to push a bit more damage. Oh, we might need the mana to be fair. No, this is fine for now. I just know the heroes around here yeah, we'll need somewhere. combat tricks for next turn. Uh, Teemo is going to be flipping. Hopefully they don't have a Teemo in hand. That would be ideal. Beware. Mama's got a gun. So we'll probably just play Pantheon here. We also get access to Shield Bolt, which is unironically pretty nice. So the question would be, is we're going to Shield Bolt here 100%. We're probably just targeting Poppy. Probably just targeting Poppy. And he's just going to swing with the Elusive push, push. We could also hit Timo. Don't think that's quite as good. Puff caps aren't super threatening immediately. Just some Pantheon's fine. We could have maybe considered the Saga Seeker to keep it alive, but buffing up the Pantheon's always a pretty safe bet. He's just going to swing with elusives anyway, right? We do play Blinded Mystic in this deck, and we also have one copy of Hush. Maybe we'll draw some of those before he says next attack token. So Quick Attack here is pretty nice. We also do get access to the Blade of Exile, so we're going to try and push big damage this turn. The Stony Suppress is kind of slowing us down a lot though, sadly. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. And we're going to put the Blade of Exile on Riven. I am reforged. Riven gets the most uh, stats from it, so it only makes sense. Should be a pretty standard play here. And we do have a punishment for if he does go for a immediate rally this turn. Which will cost him five mana, right? And wouldn't you know it, I picked the wrong mushrooms. So he's trying to save damage here. For Let's calculate loss. this. We're pushing 15, potentially. He's blocking five. Blocking five plus three, eight, seven. Putting him down to pretty average numbers. That's fine, though. No, he replaced his Stony Suppressor, I just realized. So he might actually be dead here if he lets this happen exactly as it is. Because no one's really respecting a decimate, and that's kind of like what makes a list like this quite powerful. So we can play around this by blood transfusion. We don't get access to decimate this turn though, but it has to be correct. I'm probably just going to hit. Probably just a Solari Soldier onto potentially the, the Riven, I guess. Not really too sure. I want to keep Pantheon alive because I have Shield Vault. So if he does have like a random Concerted Strike, we want to be considering that and buffing more than likely Riven. We want to put him down to four so we can win as many actions as possible to get the Decimate off. Um, so he goes for a rally. We uh, more than likely just shield vault the Teemo. Clearing my boards, like whatever, honestly. Not really changing too much here. I guess he's going to play a couple of Owlcats as well. 
and try and kill us maybe on the open. But realistically, like, the amount of damage that he does push is kind of irrelevant here. Because he has three elusives that are always connecting. So he's pushing three, two, five. What's that? Seven, putting us down to five. Decimate should be a pretty clean kill. Um, Together, stranger. This looks good. That's fine. Put as many um, put as many puff caps in now now as you want. You can't stop the decimate. And that's pretty much like what this deck wants to do. I think Pantheon is just shy, just shy of having the ability to actually just close out games by himself. I like this list I found because like just slapping in a few decimates is usually the reach that you need for a deck like this, and it kind of makes it, you know, in a sense, a bit more of an aggro deck. With some com combo potential, obviously, with Pantheon. And, like, we did le level up Pantheon quite late because it didn't make sense. We skipped a couple of turns of uh, getting our Fated procs and targeting. Didn't ultimately matter too much. Pantheon's still pretty strong. And, yeah. Uh, Zillion Echo. We have Riven, we have Pantheon. It's going to be slow. They're going to be playing quite slow. I think keeping champions in a matchup like this is relevant. And same goes for a lot of more controlling matchups where drawing units to play on curve isn't as important as finding champions. Just out of Very nice. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. Surprisingly, he chooses not to block, uh, attack there. I mean, that's fair enough. It's my time. We'll swing, we'll block anyway. No. Now, the real punishment here is having a, like, a 3-2 or something to play. Uh, Zillion's like, whatever. Time bombs aren't super scary. What this deck lacks is ways to interact with, like, your opponent's units. What I mean is, like, uh, vulnerable uh, strikes are uh, limited, almost non-existent in this deck. So key units like Zillion kind of just sit there and chill. At least we know he's never going to swing. I think we're going to Pale Cascade here. I do want to get Pantheon in this matchup level at a reasonably good time. Okay. Will not break me. Seems a little bit odd to me, but sure. Let's go for Saga and keep up standing. Uh, we stand together. And of course, it goes for the Mystic, even before I attack, which is a bit confusing. You wait till we attack, right? It's just um, kind of standard plays. The cost of war. You could have a time bomb, and you could bump his zillion into a Riven here. That's fine. Second Mystic is also just fine. Yes. If we lose Riven at this point, I think it's okay. Doesn't look like we are losing Riven. When we look ahead. We know how to prepare. So this is looking really good so far. You kind of just like get the feeling sometimes you're like, yeah, things are going quite well. Champions in hand, level up procs are happening. With I'm the gonna grant time, overwhelm. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, so we're just gonna like throw away the overwhelm, right? <laughs> it's the other thing about Pantheon. <laughs> the issue with Pantheon is it's like leveling him up can feel like you're doing some weird plays sometimes. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get Pale here. And that will be fine. So, what should we do? Give Pantheon quick attack, maybe? I, I do kind of want to develop Pantheon here and maybe stick some weapons on him. Uh, they play Hush. No, sorry, they play Quicksand. 
maybe some combat tricks. Not too scary. The hand at this point is a little bit clunky. And they're trying to pop off with like Echo and stuff. So this is a good turn for Pantheon, I think. If he wants to kill Riven, that's totally fine. I think we have something on that case. So we'll give um We'll actually give Riven quick attack here. And give you the plus, yeah. We'll do this way. I'm actually not going to invest into the Riven. I'm gonna start investing into Pantheon this turn. Or I could even go for the f this guy here, but that might be punished a little bit. I'm just going to spread my buffs around. Spread everything around a bit. What is this? If he wants to kill Riven, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Is this what he got from Archivist? No. Reforged, redeemed. Again, this damage that we do get in, very relevant. Because we can always fall back on Decimates. And he's taking four. Putting him down to 13. We're close. No. We also have Ruin Reckoner for next turn, so if he doesn't if he doesn't find the answer immediately, then he might be in a bit of trouble. That is totally fine. This is for Zon. I think how we want to navigate this turn is we want to flip Pantheon as soon as possible before like a get excited comes down or something. So I could just kind of sacrifice Blinded Mystic here, but I don't get to play Reckoner in the same turn. I'm going to assume that my opponent doesn't have These hands, no Mystic. Hands, uh, sorry, get excited in this deck because they don't usually play get excited. I and I'm just going to do this. Um, we don't necessarily have to block here. Unless we want to hush. Hmm. You know what? Why not? We don't get to play Ruin Reckoner this turn, but we are more than just chilling. And now if he wants to protect his Echo, he's going to have to spend some resources that aren't as sick, uh, valuable as killing Pantheon. Worst comes to worst, he kills Pantheon this turn. And then I won't know what I do. Quicksand. Okay, getting quicksand out now is very good. good uh, very good. Flip Pantheon now. We can flip Pantheon next turn. We lose one fated proc, but we get the ability to kind of cheese my opponent. Let's high roll the keywords. They all must die. Looking for like elusive. Spell shield's good. Challenger tough. Here's him. They will know. Fury. We'll kill the echo here. Rejardin. We don't need a swing like that. This is fine. By the way, when Pantheon levels up on the same turn, he resets his Fated as well, so we can get another buff on him. And uh, the Midnight Raid will count as a buff. All coming back to me now. Ah. Yeah, it should be quite difficult Did for him to do right anything here. Will pay for what they did to us. 
GG. GG. One more shot to have a zero mana targetable card into quicksand. Boom. Yeah, Pantheon Riven, you know, cool concept. It's definitely the most competitive that Riven in a Pantheon deck could look like. Um, I would be excited to see what we can do when we get more Fated cards. Assuming that maybe Yumi will come out with Fated or another region, actually. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Good luck on ladder, and I'll see you tomorrow.